A person who can rule the world are those who are authorized, those who have good power, those who know themselves, those who have good courage. If you do not have courage, you cannot do the world because the opposite of faith is fear. Now the Bible tells us that God does not give us the spirit of fear. So people can rule the world, those who have got authorities and powers, they are divided in different categories. We have got people who are born with power, we have got people who are born powerless but they obtain the power. For example, we can talk of uh, uh, judges, uh, Judges 13, the Bible says a child of Manoah was born by the name of Samson. Before he was born, there was a certain man of God who came and promised that your child will be a Nazareth, who will have power, he will be breaking things. And we saw Samson in his life. He, he could kill the bear, he could kill the lion. He had to break the pillars because of the power that Samson was born with. And Jesus is another person. In Luke 1 verse 26, the Bible says, during the 60th month of Elizabeth pregnant, the cousin to Mary, Mary was visited by the angel by the name of Gabriel. The man was told that do not be afraid. You are, you, are, you are going to conceive of the Holy Spirit and you are going to have a child by the name of Jesus. And this person will rule the world. So Jesus was born with kingship. That's the reason why. Uh, was born with kingship. That's the reason why. When he was born in Matthew 2, the Bible says they went to visit him and the king rose against him. Why? Because they knew that he, uh, the angel told Mary that he's going to be the king. Not only that, even the angel Gabriel even appeared to the shepherd, those who are shipping in the um, those who are looking over their flocks, and they were told that go to the city of uh, David. Uh, they are born a child. So Jesus was born with power. And Jeremiah was also born with power. How do I know this? Jeremiah 1 verse 5, the Bible says, um, uh, God was telling Jeremiah that I formed you before I, uh, I, I knew you before I formed you. I get, I ordain you as a prophet. A prophet is somebody who has got power to ascend in the spiritual realms. But though um, uh, Jeremiah was born with power, he was born with me, a measure of power. Another power he was given, Jeremiah 1 verse 4, the Bible says, I've given you power over kingdoms and nations. So the power that uh, uh, Jeremiah was given at first, that Jeremiah was born with, is the power of prophetic. Now the power over the nation, he was given later. So now we are seeing some people uh, obtaining power. People are born uh, powerless, people like uh, the 12 disciples of Jesus. None of them was born with the power. How do I know this? Because in Luke, uh, in Luke 10 verse 19, the Bible says, I've given you the power to step on snake and scorpion. I've given you. Meaning you didn't have. You cannot be given something that you have already. Then the, people, the first image of God, the first creation of God, were created by power. The Bible says in, uh, in Genesis 1 verse 26, let us make man in our own image. And as he created man in his own image, on 28 he said, he, he created them both, male and female. Then he gave them the power to rule over the things of the ground, the things that was moving on the ground, the things of the air, the fish of the of the, uh, of the sheet of the sea. He gave them the power. So there is a power you were born with, and the power that you do obtain from God. Now, how can you obtain this power from God? You can obtain this power from God when you obey God. This power, it was promised in uh, in Joel 2, verse 28. The Bible says, in the last days, he's going to pull out his spirit. And Jesus said in, in Act 1, verse 8, that uh, you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So there are some things you cannot become if you do not have power. Things like a witness. The Bible says, then you be my witness. You witness of me. So when they waited in the upper room, in Act 2, it was fulfilled. So people still today, they are still receiving this power. So people can rule are those who receive the power. When you receive the power, you become the seat of God. In 1 John 4, uh, verse 4, the Bible says, um, Great is he who is in us than the one who is in the world. On verse 5, the Bible says, uh, those who over uh first John 5 verse 5, the Bible says, those who overcome the world are those who kept the commandment of God. I think I've answered your question. Um the power of God, if 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 you have got the power of God, no matter the situation you are going to manifest, even in prison, you can be a prisoner but ruling other prisoners. Joseph became a ruler in the prison. As he walked out of the prison, he became a ruler again, again in Egypt. 
uh, if you can observe uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they root in the fire with the king. He said, I'm going, when I come, I'm going to rule with you. And Jesus manifested, Nebuchadnezzar said, I, I place the throne of them, but one of them looks like a child of God. They became the four. This was to fulfill um, Matthew 18, verse 20, which says, uh, where there are two or three, I'm among them. So he showed himself that he's among them. So my sister, you can rule the world. And in Romans 8, verse 20, uh, Romans 8, verse 19, the Bible says, the world is waiting for the manifestation of children of God, or in other words, sons and daughters. Now, how can you become a child of God? You can be a child of God when you believe. According to John 1, verse 12, the Bible says, those who believe are given the power to be called the children of God.